Aspect ratio is the visual term that represents the shape of a viewing area. It usually is written with two numbers. The first represents the width of the screen and the second represents the height. For example, for every 2.35 inches of width this screen has, it has only one inch of height. The most common aspect ratios are 16:9 or widescreen format and 235 or anamorphic format. Many people ask which of the two is best for them. Hopefully we can answer that question for you. 169 is far more common than 235 in home theater. Most projectors come natively to 16:9 aspect ratio because that is what television and video games are most commonly formatted to. You want to choose content appropriate to the aspect ratio and an aspect ratio appropriate to the content that you watch. If you're going to watch sports, the cameras at the stadiums are actively filming in 16:9, so trying to watch it in any other aspect ratio will not give you the full effect. This is the way it is with any type of media. You're going to need to pay attention to what content it was filmed in or you may not get the most out of that content. This is your screen. In this scenario it will be a 16:9 aspect ratio because that is what most projectors project into. If you're watching a 4:3 aspect ratio on your 16:9, it will look like this. Notice the black unused projection area. This is called pillar boxing. That is your projector projecting black pixels, which means the pixels in the center will not be using the full resolution available to you. If you project a movie showing a 235 image on your 16:9 frame, you will have a similar effect, except now it's on the top and the bottom of the screen. This is called letterboxing. Again, you have unused resolution in those black areas. Paying attention to the aspect ratio of your content will help you choose what is compatible with your setup. Here's an easy way to explain. Let's say that these squares are pixels. You will notice that they are 9 squares high and 16 squares wide, hence 16:9. These pixels are being projected onto your screen. When you project something that doesn't match the native projection, the pixels in the letterboxed areas are not being used. The image projected on the center is only a fraction of the resolution. Now here are your options. Option 1. It's one of the most common options for entry-level home theaters and for people mostly watching 16:9, but occasionally in 235. You can get a 16:9 frame and fit your native 16:9 aspect ratio into the confines of this frame. This means that in order to use the entire area of the projection, you must project into 16:9. This is the most common and widely accepted way to project. Whenever you need to project into another aspect ratio, you can either ignore the letterboxing or find a masking option like curtains to block the unused projection. Option 2. Another entry level option except this time we are going to use a 235 frame. First you can project 16:9 into this frame but you will have pillar boxing on either side. Then you turn on a movie that is 235. You will still have pillar boxing on the sides but now you'll have an additional letter boxing on the top and the bottom. This is remedied by either moving your projector away from the screen, manually adjusting the zoom lens, or by using lens memory. This causes the usable pixels in the center to fill the projection surface and the black projection to hit areas outside the frame. You can then use masking to cover the overshooting projection. Option 3. The other option is to get an anamorphic lens. While the other options work for people new to home theater or are on a budget, this option is the best way to permanently project into anamorphic format 235. Firstly, you need to make sure your projector is compatible with the anamorphic lens. We will touch on this in a bit. You will need a 235 frame. Silver Ticket Products has a 113.5 inch, 127 inch, 142 inch, and a 158 inch size available in this aspect ratio. See the description of this video for links to those. With the 235 frame, project your 16:9 image so there's pillar boxing on either side of the image, and the image fits perfectly within the frame's upper and lower sides. When you turn on a movie that is formatted for 235, you'll notice that the image is now even smaller with letter boxing around the whole image, like in option 2. Now here is where you need to make sure your projector is compatible. Some projectors have what is called an anamorphic skew. You need to make sure your projector has this option. Anamorphic skew cuts off the upper and lower letterboxing and stretches the already 235 image 
so that it is distorted into a 16-9 shape. This uses every single pixel that your projector offers. Then simply move the anamorphic lens into place and it will fill the entire frame. This works with both 235 and 2.4, although you may still have some very slight letterboxing with 2.4. Let's go back to the pixels again. We have our 16.9 image on a 235 frame. Now put in a 235 movie. There, you have letterboxing again. Now execute your anamorphic skew setting on your projector, and we are using all the pixels again, but squeezing the 235 into a 16.9 shape. Now we slide the anamorphic lens into the projector. This stretches all the pixels until it fits the 235 frame perfectly. All the options work, but anamorphic lens is the best. When you want to watch content that is formatted for another aspect ratio, just move the anamorphic lens out of the way. Let's review. Option 1 allows you to watch 16.9 perfectly without overshoot or masking, but you will have letterboxing in 235 unless you mask it off. You're also not using the full resolution when projecting in 235. If you do option 2, where you zoom out the 235 image to fill the 235 frame. You are not taking advantage of every pixel available. What pixels you are using are simply enlarged. The larger the pixel, the less detail you can fit into the image. Also, you have overshot, which is remedied by a masking system of light absorbing material. Using option 3, you will use all the pixels the projector has available for higher resolution. The anamorphic lens stretches the full projection from 16.9 to 235. When you want to project into another aspect ratio, simply move the anamorphic lens out of the way. If you have any questions or concerns, visit our website silverticketproducts.com or contact us at support at silverticketproducts.com.